So I'm at a service call um, for this unit that hasn't been heating properly. Uh, it should be kicking on any second here. So as soon as it tries to kick on, I'm gonna stop talking so you can hear what it's doing. Um, but basically what's going on is what I've noticed every time it goes to kick on, it keeps this start relay right here, keeps chattering like hardcore. Um, and it's going to attempt to start the compressor and every time it tries to do that, um, the compressor is tripping off on internal overload uh, for not being able to start up. It's not getting the, the juice basically from the start capacitor to start up. Um, and then it's basically kind of shorting out on that internal overload and then it will randomly, about a minute or two later, it'll kick on the compressor. So definitely super hard on the compressor. Uh, I don't know how long it's been doing this for. Um, I did see a note inside the panel that looks like, um, there you go, you can, you can kind of just hear it there, that rattling and trying to start. That time it actually started up a little bit smoother, compressor, well, smooth as it sounded, but uh, basically it, it started up instead of actually tripping out on that internal overload, but you can clearly hear that that's not normal and it shouldn't be doing that. Um, so, like I said, I was in the middle of showing that before it tried on. I saw this new run cap, new start cap, and new relay. Um, I think this is a York York split heat pump here. Um, I tested capacitance on the capacitor, and the capacitor itself on the run capacitor looked good. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is we stock like a, um, a, a universal start capacitor. I think I'm going to just take out this whole deal because I mean if it's been ongoing and if it's already been replaced once I just kind of want to go away from this style and uh, go to that that kind of universal start capacitor um, that most HVAC shops are stocking now uh, so I'm gonna go to that and see if that makes any difference um, like I said I have no idea how long that's been in there there's no date on when that was installed but I'm guessing it's been in there for it's been in here for a little while so um, and I, like I said, I don't know fully even what was going on before on the other one, if it was doing the same thing or what, but being new to this particular unit, I'm guessing that's kind of, that, that's just the route I'm going to go. I think that should take care of it, hopefully. And I will definitely be letting the customer know that, you know, this thing's been struggling with capacitors, run and start capacitors, you know, it has a history of it. So realistically that compressor probably has shortened its life on that compressor pretty significantly. Um, I did see too that this is an R22 system, so I'll also let him know on that. Uh, just kind of prepping him basically for what will probably happen in the near future with a compressor going out. So I will let them know, kind of try to get approval for that, and then hopefully that new universal start capacitor takes care of it, and you know maybe they can get some more more life out of this um, and see what they what they want to do. So. Um, also, it's the end of the year, so I know some of these buildings have budgets that they can spend or not spend. Uh, so, you know, if they're at the top end of their maintenance budget, they they probably well just want to opt to do a repair and kind of limp it along. Or if, you know, they have a huge budget left, that they some of these budgets they, they have to spend. If they don't spend it, it goes away. So we'll see what they want to do. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.